3,000 Years of Longing was directed by George Miller, and as you can tell, I'm in a different spot right now. Things have changed in my life recently. If you follow me on social media, you know that I've recently moved to Montreal, and that's also why you haven't been seeing a lot of major videos over the last couple of weeks, because I've been in the throes of basically packing up everything and figuring out where I'm going to go in this crazy journey that we call life. And I'm excited to share that with you guys and, you know, developments along the way. But the movie watching hustle never ends. And so I went across the street and I just saw this in a surprisingly big movie theater. And I have some thoughts on it. So here we go. A writer, played by Taylor Swinton, when she's on a seminar in Istanbul, she finds a djinn, played by Idris Elba, after she opens up a bottle. And the djinn obviously asks her for a few wishes if she wants them fulfilled, but it also comes with the cost of these wishes over time and what the djinn has witnessed over 3,000 years, as the title suggests. So the movie is essentially about versatile storytelling. It's about the power of the different things that we experience over time and it's about bringing those together into like where we go from here. The world around us is changing. So many things are transforming around us and constantly you know we're getting detached from the wonders of certain things. Like if you stop for a second and just transport yourself into other times in our world and the histories of it. Sometimes you can find some fascinating things to glean from those. 3,000 Years of Longing seems to be tapping into that and George Miller's eccentricities as a director are a perfect way to hone in those particular themes. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you the movie's perfect by any means. It's got a very polarized response and I understand why. Because in a lot of ways, this movie is not what it's looking like. Like, if you look at the marketing and the posters, it makes it seem like it's this fantasy sci-fi film, which it's not. It's a movie that's telling something very slow-paced and methodical about these, like, consequences that have come as per these wishes being granted. But it's also doing so in a way that's not exactly made for, like, action movie spectacle. Like, you're not going to see this on an IMAX screen for a reason. Because it's not that kind of movie. It's a movie made which is essentially about just two people sitting around for, like, 90% of the movie and just talking. It's in a hotel room, much like this one for the most part. And I think that works to its favor. I think George Miller directs the hell out of that. And it's a very poignantly told movie that could have used a few little details here and there and some expansion in the final act, especially. Like there are certain things that happen that I feel like they sort of like jumped to certain things. But overall, I was very pleased with this movie, and a lot of that has to do with the two leads at the forefront of it doing an amazing job as usual. I mean, it's not a surprise to say that Tilda Swinton and Idris Elba are both fantastic actors, and this movie once again brings that across perfectly. I think both of them are really, really great here, and there is so much that they bring to a very simple premise that really works over here. And their chemistry is also really, really great in the process. The visual storytelling that is on display from Miller, I mean, it's not a surprise that George Miller is able to direct things in a very visceral way, in a very visually dazzling way. So not exactly an action fantasy movie that you're probably expecting, but it's a movie that is still stunning to look at. And as a director, he is firing on all cylinders over here. But a film like this, as weird, fascinating, original, bizarre, all of these things that you can say about it, this could have only come from someone like Miller. Like, only he could make this kind of movie. And I'm glad he made this movie. I'm surprised that this is the follow-up he made after Fury Road, but I like it. I like the fact that it's just so different. It just speaks to his sensibilities as a director as well, about how much he can do with this medium. That medium of storytelling, which is what this movie is all about. Storytelling. Yes, it has some issues here and there. There are certain things that are not quite as well developed as others. There are some plot points and characters that could have used some expansion. And like I said, the last act definitely feels a little shorter than it's supposed to. Like it feels like there's about 
seven, eight minutes just kind of missing from, you know, certain developments that happened around the final act that I would have liked to see a little bit more of because I was so lost in this world after a while that I could have honestly, like, I lost track of time there. But nonetheless, I still walked out of 3,000 years of longing, very satisfied, and I'm looking forward to seeing it again. And, and I think there is something very special about this movie. Now, granted, I could be totally wrong. And there is a chance that a lot of people who are watching it might think it's just, you know, a pretentious piece of crap. And you know what? Sure, you're very welcome to think that, and I would totally understand that response. But if it's working, it's working. And I think sometimes if it feels like I'm being a little forgiving on this channel, it's not. I just think that there is power in storytelling, and when you just about tap into it right, sometimes I feel like I see it from a specific lens, and maybe that's why it works a little bit more. I'm a fan of movies that are willing to take major swings, and when they're done in a way that makes you think about the movie long after the credits have rolled, I think you've got something special over there, if a bit flawed overall in some places. I'm gonna give 3,000 years of longing an 8 out of 10. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I apologize for the traffic noises in the background. I'm very close to the street over here. But I'm looking forward to sharing more with you guys very, very soon and showcasing a lot more of the life to come. And I hope you guys join me on that journey. As always, if you like this, please just subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you very much again. And I'll see you guys at the movies.